Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is G and this is Akila who is my false water cobra. And it has been so long since I've made a video. It's been so long since I've recorded anything and I have just been super busy. Um, so this is what this video is primarily going to be about, what we're going to be talking about. I will go ahead and show you some feeding. I will go ahead and show you some of the enclosures, the moving, everything. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. It's been so long since I've been here. So one of the first things I wanted to go ahead and talk about was the fact that I moved. So I did go ahead and move home so I could be super, super, super busy. As you can see, everything is very different around here. Um, you should get used to this because this will be the new norm moving forward. Um, but I did go ahead and move and I had a lot of things going on. And so that's what contributed to me disappearing was preparing for moving. I also had gotten gap. And so that's one of the most important things that contributed to me not being on YouTube for a while um, was the moving. I also had a lot of dental work done, so if I do have a little bit of a list, please excuse me. I'm still getting used to a lot of different things going on in here. Um, and I'm still working on it. I don't have my permanent situation done. Um, so if I do have a list, please bear with me. I will try to be as clear as possible, um, but things in here are different, so we're still working on that. The other thing that also contributed to me not being around as much was I had switched jobs, I had moved up in work, so many things were changing and evolving around me that I just really just didn't have any time. Um, but now I do. I am working on some things right now. I am working on a schedule to make sure that I am on YouTube um, and making videos, but I will be changing the kind of content that I will be making. It will, of course, be a reptile related because reptile trainer G, it wouldn't make sense if I didn't have reptiles in the videos. So just going back into content, I do want to make different types of content. I don't want it to be so focused and centered around care guides. I don't even like watching care guides myself. I don't find them interesting, uh, mostly because I don't really need them anymore. I used to watch them a lot in the past, but moving forward, I don't really need them, so I don't really want to make content that I don't particularly watch myself. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't want to take too much time in this video, but I will go ahead and show you around, show you the reptiles. You won't see everyone in this video, unfortunately, because not everyone is situated, um, but I will go ahead and take the time to show you uh, my room, um, the reptiles enclosures, I'll show you some feeding that I did as well this week. So it'll be a little bit interesting, but this first video will just be a little bit boring. Uh, but moving forward, things will be a lot more interesting, a lot more fun, and you will see a lot more um, everyday situations with uh, cool animals like Aquila here. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's just do a quick little small mini tour and then also some feeding. And then I will be back at the end to wrap up and we'll move forward from there. All right, so we're going to start with just a general overview of my room. It's not too fancy and not done, but here are the enclosures, and we can start off with showing with Aladdin. Moving on, we have Mushu here, who is always just showing his enclosure and looks a mess, but he is still adorable. And then we move down to the infamous Mowgli, who is always super extra, but he is one of the nicest king snakes I have met. I have been in contact with a lot of king snakes, and most of them try to kill me on site. But Mowgli is very gentle, very kind, very loving, and just all around the best. And I did go ahead and recently change this enclosure. If you do not know me super well, you do know that I do not decorate juvenile and baby enclosures super, super crazy. I keep them pretty simple, but he does get his own swimming pool in here and he spends the majority of his day in there, which I absolutely love. And he does do lots and lots of his little swimming. Uh, he spends like 90% of the day in the water, like hands down, uh, barely ever comes out of this. So I don't give him tons of land because he almost never uses it. Um, you don't have to set up your enclosures like this um, always and when he moves into his bigger more permanent enclosures he'll still have a pool but it won't be as little land i'll definitely give him more land of course but because he never uses it i just prefer to give him more water and moving on to the next reptile we do have the wonderful bambi who is my broiled dragon he is absolutely i'm not actually even sure if he's a boy uh, i'm pretty sure sorry bambi is a girl <laughs> i'm not sure she's actually a girl but i'm pretty confident she is and next to Bambi, we do have Maleficent here, who is absolutely my wonderful um, mountain horn dragon. She is currently in shed. They're both in shed, actually, so they're they're not so nice in shed. <laughs> so 
we have the infamous and very loved on my Instagram, Aurora. This is her enclosure, and I never know how she gets moss inside of her enclosure. Or not her enclosure, her water. It's just... I don't know. I, I don't get it. But she has a very big, very wonderful enclosure, and we will go ahead and take off this and take a peek. So this is Aurora here, and she is my Brazilian rainbow boy, if I didn't say that already. I'm not sure. I forget. <laughs> but she is very beautiful, very stunning, very gorgeous. You can see her beautiful, lovely rainbows coming under her UVB light. Um, they don't require it, but I do give her one. Uh, and that's her main source of lighting, otherwise she's a ceramic heat emitter. So this has absolutely nothing to do with reptiles and I don't have pants on so I am standing out of the view of the camera but I do have a hallway in my room and Mulan's enclosure is here. Like I said everything is not set up and this is not permanent for her. This has nothing to do with anything at all but I absolutely love my shower curtain. So moving on to feeding, we never get to see any of the Egyptians feeding and you won't see their enclosure in here just because it's, uh, I have so much more work to do. But this is Jack, one of my two Egyptian false cobras. I'm taking on a mouse, which I don't ever show the strikes for because they only eat live, which is annoying, but you get to see the aftermath. And we have Mulan, who is in my hallway in my room, and we are going to be giving her a rat today. And uh, hopefully she'll take it pretty readily and easily. She is always an amazing feeder, and she always dirties her water dish. As you can see, moss in the enclosure. I don't know how they do it. Yep, and just like I thought, a very beautiful and very wonderful strike. Next up, we have the Amazon tree boa who is still in a temporary enclosure because I was moving and I was like, I'm not going to buy a permanent one, set it up and blah, 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 blah. So, um, but it is comfortable for him to be in here and, you know, they have attitudes. We, it's an Amazon tree boa, like, they have attitudes. So we're going to reset up and hopefully... There we go. So a wonderful good take. He does eat on the ground. I, that's just his thing. So we already know that this is going to be super crazy because it is Mowgli's turn. It's either going to be really crazy or really dull, but he's always a crazy feeder. Yeah, just mildly dramatic today. Uh, and that's all right. As long as he's eating, I'm happy. All right, so I have Maleficent. I guess he doesn't eat and shed at all. So hopefully she will actually eat and shed. Um, and she's not too fond of the camera anyway, so let's just, uh, uh, yeah, all right. So you do have a good feed from Maleficent. She will get more, of course, than just the one, but we're not going to waste too much time just watching her nom. All right, so Bambi is up next, and don't mind that super skinny branch in there. I, I, I don't know. I, it looked bigger in person, and I put an enclosure, and I was like, what? What was I thinking? Like, ew. Um, so I'll be replaced with Dragonwood, but Bambi is a fatty. Uh, she loves, 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 loves to eat. And judging from her frill, she might actually be a boy, but we'll see. Uh, I'll sex her a little bit later. All right, so we do have Aladdin, my big man of the house. And let's see how he's going to take. Holy shit. Good God. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed the video as well. Of course, if you did, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can also keep up with me on Instagram at ReptileTrainerG as well. And then of course, I will see you in the next one.